This is the promotional video for our research paper entitled Global News Synchrony and Diversity During the Start of the COVID-19 Pandemic. This work was developed at the University of Massachusetts Amherst with collaborators from the Oxford Internet Institute, La Sapienza, and the University of Michigan. Media coverage of events shapes our perception of reality. However, media coverage is challenging to study because of the lack of appropriate computational methods for event detection and measuring news coverage. This work addresses this challenge. Here, we develop methods for a massive data set of 60 million news articles published in the first half of 2020 among 124 countries shown on this map. To identify news events, first, we embed each news article in a language agnostic vector space. Then, we compute similarity between millions of news articles. Finally, we apply a graph clustering algorithm. This results in 4,357 news event clusters. The largest are shown here. In January 2020, an Iranian general was assassinated by a U.S. drone. In February and March, there were U.S. presidential election primaries. In April and May, COVID-19 pandemic struck. In June, public protests against racism after George Floyd's death happened. We evaluated a random subset of 40 clusters, finding that they are of relatively high quality. With such news event clusters, for each country, we can compute the fraction of news covering each of these events. Here you see an example of this for US and Germany. Then, based on such distributions, we define news diversity within a country as a Shannon entropy of the distribution, and news synchrony between countries as Jensen Shannon divergence of the distributions. In our paper, we show that these measures of news, news diversity and news synchrony are superior to naive measures that do not make use of news event clusters. Also, we aggress news diversity and synchrony against country characteristics, finding that, for instance, most important predictor of news diversity is internet penetration, which is surprising since communication scholars suggested that digitization may contribute to homogenization of news coverage rather than its diversification. Here we show the countries that synchronize the most in news coverage the old European Union countries, Latin America, Arab countries, and the US, UK, and UK's past colonies. The features that are most predictive of news synchrony are trade, whether the two countries are in political blocs, such as BRICS or NATO, whether they have high democracy indices, and share official language. The developed methodology enables unprecedented studies of global news coverage. For instance, using our methods, future works can study biases in coverage of events such as disasters and conflicts, and long-term dynamics of news coverage, for instance, news coverage preceding wars.